Quite frankly, Tesla is doing things on a different level. They're doing science and chemistry that no one, else is, uh, no one else is really getting into. So not only are they trying their best to come up with new chemistry on their, on their magnets, they're trying to come up with new chemistry on the laminates, and they're coming up with new chemistry on their, on their um, uh, housings. And that means that somewhere, somehow, some way, they have in their internal groups um, um, chemists and metallurgists that are trying new, new substances, new, new different ways of, of creating um, uh, a product or a project that, that will give us more and not just a housing to, uh, to hold everything together, as it were. Tesla is melting the ice age. There is no question in my mind that, uh, that um, if you don't benchmark a Tesla's, you're going to wind up um, uh, dead in the water. Hey, I'm Steven, and this is Solving the Money Problem. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. So do I have a treat for you guys today, especially the engineering nerds. We're going to be a fly on the wall as the automotive expert of experts, Sandy Munro, shares some of Tesla's top engineering secrets with their competitors. And we'll get to hear Sandy Munro effectively warn these so-called competitors that if they don't find out what Tesla's up to and do their best to copy every aspect, they'll probably be out of business. So let's get into the video. And by the way, since I know there's a lot of crypto lovers watching and people who like free stuff, it's your lucky day. For a limited time, you can get up to $250 in free crypto bonuses when funding a new account on BlockFi, where you can use cryptocurrency to earn interest, borrow cash, and buy or sell crypto. If you want your free crypto, use the link in the description. It also helps out the channel. And if you'd like up to two free stocks, check out the link in the description to Weeble. If you open a new account, you'll get one free stock valued up to $250 just for opening an account. And if you fund your account with $100, you'll get a second free stock valued up to $1,600. Unless you don't like free stocks, that is. And if you're in Australia, the UK, or New Zealand, you can get a free stock with stake also using the link in the description. Let's get back to it. So the first thing you have to do when, whenever we're looking at uh, product is um, I know as an engineer, I feel I should be looking at the technology, but at the end of the day, what I, what I really need to do is we have to look at who's making money. What does it cost? How easy is it to put together? Are there exotic materials that mm, nobody in the planet's got? And when you start looking at that, when you start looking at who makes money on their electric vehicles, you have to start with Honda and uh, Hyundai and Jaguar and Renault and Toyota. And when you look at those ones, uh, guess what? Nobody there is, is making the, the big bucks. Um, and then if you look at Volkswagen, Porsche and Audi, um, you know what? Maybe pretty soon, but not right now. So we go down to the last guy, the smallest guy, who now is the biggest company on the planet. Um, and uh, guess what? They got four profitable quarters. So you're going to see an awful lot of, um, a lot, an awful lot of what happened at, uh, at Tesla. This is a colossally important point from Sandy. Today, despite the fact that some of the sticker prices may be coming in close to, say, a Model 3 or a Model Y, all of the so-called competition is actually being sold for enormous losses. These automakers face enormous challenges in attempting to compete with Tesla. Not only do they somehow need to match the performance, features, functionality of Tesla's vehicles and their technology, <laughs> good luck with that when you don't have Tesla's engineers, experience or data. Anyway, besides that point, they also somehow need to do so for a comparable price so they can sell the vehicles for a comparable price and actually make money. At this point in time, a lot of electric vehicles in the marketplace that are selling for similar prices to say a Model 3 or Model Y are actually being sold for losses of ten to $20,000 each vehicle. Now over time, hopefully this improves. But right now, Sandy's pointing out something very important. Tesla is out in a league of their own. They're making the best technology and they're doing it more profitably than anyone else. In fact, they're actually doing it profitably versus pretty much everyone else who can't even make money selling these things yet. They've got the winning combination of the best performance features, functionality, etc., and the best profit margins. How do you compete with that? Spoiler alert, you don't. So first off, again, uh, I am not getting paid by Tesla. I wished I was, but I'm not. And if you look at it, um, these guys are worth a huge amount of money. And if you look at what's going on with all of the rest of the EVs in the world, you can see that there's a huge gap between Tesla and if you add them all together, the uh, first four of the, um, of, the, of the different EV companies. And that gap's growing. 
they, they've, got, they've got a new um, a cyber truck coming that I'm kind of really interested in. And they got two new EVs, um, including a compact. I think, I think that we're going to be looking at a tremendous, a tremendous issue if we don't look deeply at what's going on and the guy that's basically taken on the world. So a spoiler alert, um, the buying public and Tesla are the big winners in this uh, presentation um, because quite frankly, Tesla's doing things on a different level. They're doing science and chemistry that no one else is, uh, no one else is really getting into. So today you're gonna see some of that and hopefully some of you will pick up on it if you happen to work for VW or one of the Chinese companies or whomever you're working with, hopefully you'll be able to take something back to the boss and say, hey, you know what I just found out? Let's do whatever. Now, I may be imagining things here, but I really think that what Sandy's getting at, keeping in mind, he's talking to a room full of automotive industry experts, employees, people working for some of the larger automakers out there. Basically, what Sandy's saying, at least the way that I'm interpreting it, a little bit low key, but the same message is really there. Hey, guys. Here's what Tesla's doing. I highly recommend you bring this back to your bosses and tell them to copy everything you learned today because otherwise you won't have a boss because you won't have a job because your company probably won't be in business. Um, the magnetic angle is 140 degrees and we've done some testing and that seems to be one of the better um, angles if you want to get uh, a maximum out of, the, um, out of the power of the magnets. The chemical structure on the Tesla is different. Um, and I popped it up there so you can have a look. And you can see that where standard magnets are high in one ingredient and low in others, Tesla seems to be, um, seems to be putting some of their money into, into, um, into alloys that are, 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 are totally different. And so we're looking at why it is that they've done what they've done. The, um, uh, the long and short of it is, is they just seem to have stronger magnets using their formula versus everybody else's. If you have a look under a microscope, then what you can see is on the left, you've got the Tesla Model 3 microstructure, and that's at 800X. And on the right is a standard neodymium um, microstructure, again, at 800X. And it, you don't have to be um, <clears throat> a rocket scientist to notice that the, uh, the crystalline structure is smaller, tighter, and, uh, and much more dense. Well, perhaps you don't need to be a rocket scientist, but I tell you what, Having a CEO who's also a rocket scientist, literally, that would be Elon Musk for those of you who don't know. Yes, he literally actually knows how to design rockets. He taught himself reading books, not even joking. It certainly does help having a rocket scientist as your CEO. Now, I don't want to belabor the point here, but we do need to talk. This is very, very, very important for you guys to understand. Some people think Tesla's an automotive manufacturer. They're a car maker. Others call them a software company, a technology company, maybe even a manufacturing company. That's cool. But I just want you guys to think, just imagine a different company that fits that same description, a different automotive company, a different software company, a different technology company, whatever label you want to assign to Tesla. Imagine a different company that has that same label, if you can. How many of these companies do you think are doing cutting edge material science? Okay, We see this example here of the magnets inside the electric motors, inside the, like how many layers down do we need to get? And we discover that Tesla is doing new things using new materials, things that don't exist that literally nobody else on the planet has access to in their vehicles. This kind of gives you an understanding of the level of engineering detail that Tesla goes to. This is one of the benefits of having a CEO who not only is a rocket scientist, but also is a physicist, has a physics degree and literally understands the universe from the atoms, well actually the subatomic particles, up. This is really important, okay? Just imagine this level of depth and detail and engineering improvement and refinement in every aspect of Tesla's business. It's not just the hardware, it's not just the magnets and the electric motors, it's everywhere. It's the software, it's their insurance products, it's their own hand-coded enterprise software, it's their approach to autonomy, it's their battery cell design, it's their manufacturing techniques, it's every element of their business. It's not just one thing that Tesla's winning on, it's everything, this is scary stuff. So, that's a little bit on uh, on what they're doing with um, on what they're doing with the alloys associated with magnets, but there's also something associated with the uh, housings. These aluminum housings are different than everybody else. In fact, they're different enough that uh, that we we actually went in and we we do chemical analysis on almost all the parts, but this one surprised the daylights out of us. There's a secret ingredient in this thing. It's not that much 
but it's a refractory material that, uh, that gives them a little extra boost, a little extra power. So we just talked about Tesla's magnets being different and superior to everybody else. Well, now it turns out that they also have superior alloys. I just want to read the note on the slide here from Munro. Tesla is using a special alloy in its cast aluminum housings. Munro had a hard time finding it. As in, Munro and Associates can't figure out what the secret ingredient even is. They just know that it's there. But we believe it improves power. We just saw the magnet, now we're seeing the housing for the electric motor. Even the housing itself is using cutting edge materials, stuff that nobody else on the planet is using. Now remember, it's not just the magnets, it's not just the housing of the electric motors. It's every aspect of Tesla's business from the ground up. Hardware, software, you name it. The same approach to just constant improving, doing things differently, finding the best solution, deleting parts and processes. So not only are they trying their best to come up with new chemistry on their, on their magnets, they're trying to come up with new chemistry on the laminates, and they're coming up with new chemistry on their, on their um, uh, housings. And that means that somewhere, somehow, some way, they have in their internal groups um, um, chemists and metallurgists that are trying new, new substances. Don't worry, Ford, General Motors, Volkswagen, Hyundai, Kia, Honda, it's fine. Tesla's just an automotive manufacturer. You have nothing to worry about whatsoever. Carry on. There's new, new different ways of, of creating um, uh, a product or a project that, that will give us more and not just a housing to, uh, to hold everything together, as it were. We're very impressed with that sort of, uh, that sort of uh, uh, engineering and chemistry. By the way, if you can see in the back here, that's uh, the mega casting. And uh, mega casting is also not what uh, Tesla says it is. Um, that's, uh, that's a totally different uh, aluminum than the 3.5X, whatever they called it. Um, that's baloney, it's not a 3.5X. This is, this is unique. So just to make this super clear, Tesla employs material scientists who are literally inventing new materials that have never before existed on planet Earth because they need them to improve the quality of their products, drive down their manufacturing costs, speed up the process with which they can manufacture vehicles, etc. Okay, one more time. Tesla has material scientists who are inventing new materials. They're doing cutting edge material science at an automotive manufacturer. <laughs> yeah, uh, rip the auto industry. Here's the conclusion. Um, Tesla is melting the ice age. There is no question in my mind that, uh, that um, if you don't benchmark a Tesla's, um, you're going to wind up um, uh, dead in the water. Again, for context, Sandy Munro delivering this presentation to a number of people who actually work in the automotive industry for some of Tesla's so-called competition and warning them in no uncertain terms, you must benchmark Tesla. You must know what they're doing, their technology, the materials, everything that's going into their products, how much it's costing, how they're putting it together, everything you can possibly know. That needs to be your standard, your benchmark, what you're striving to meet. Otherwise, you're fucked. Not like a little fucked, like fucked fucked. Of course, Sandy used the term dead in the water, but I'm happy to translate. This is a really stern warning and Sandy is not messing around. He's saying, guys, you need to know exactly what Tesla's doing and copy it or you will not be in business soon. And of course, he's right. And that's not a, that's not a, that's no kidding. Um, I, I get paid for making predictions and, uh, and quite frankly, um, I don't think that anybody who hasn't gone in and done a deep dive or at least bought a report from somebody like, uh, like Monroe, but there's others I'm sure, if you don't go in and find out everything you can, you're violating uh, General Sun Tzu's big rule, okay? General Sun Tzu was the best general that ever lived, ask any military guy. He was from China, and he was like, uh, I don't know, three or 4,000 years ago. He wrote a book called The Art of War, and in that book, which is really a philosophy book, not a, not a war story book, in that book he says, know your enemy, know yourself, win every battle. Know yourself, don't know your enemy, you're in a win one, lose one kind of situation. Don't know your enemy, don't know yourself, you're always in peril. That kind of stuff is the reason that you wanna go out and get a hold of one of these things because I'm telling you what, I think that the race is on. So I hope you guys have enjoyed being a fly on the wall as Sandy Munro reveals some of Tesla's engineering secrets to automotive industry insiders. And let me know in the comments below if you're a Sandy Munro fanboy 
or fangirl. I love the dude. Tells it like it is, and he's doing his best to help these dinosaurs realize that their days are numbered. Unfortunately, I don't think everyone's listening. I'm Stephen Mark Ryan. This is Solving the Money Problem, and I love you all. And don't forget, if you'd like up to $250 in free crypto bonuses with BlockFi, use the link in the description. You can also get two free stocks with Weeble and a free stock with Stake also linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, if you have any ideas for future videos, let me know. I read all your comments. P.S. If you're still watching, you're awesome. If you'd like early access, exclusive videos, regular Q&As, our private Discord server and more, consider supporting the channel at patreon.com slash solving the money problem so I can keep creating content for you guys. There's a link in the description. You can now also become a member of the channel for some exclusive perks. To learn more, click the join button next to subscribe. And don't don't forget to check out our merch store. Either way, the best form of support is you being here and watching, so thanks again.